Yes. And you said that people bought yes. votes. You too, you cannot say that you, did, you people did not buy votes in your ward. Or was it free? People just voted for you because they like no. your face. No. Rufai is right. The Nigerian electoral system has long been plunged by corruption and vote buying is one of the most persistent problems. Elections which are meant to be a fair representation of people's will often become a battle of who can outspend the other. Other than who has the best policies to improve lives. This is what just happened in Edo State, where a debate was scheduled for all three candidates to come and speak about their blueprint and what they have generally for the people of Edo State. Both the candidate of the APC and PDP refused to show up for this debate because they know that the people of Edo State understands only one language, and that is money. These politicians have weaponized poverty so much that the common man is always willing to sell his vote for 10,000 Naira for the next four years. Now, listening to what Rufai Husseini of Arise TV has to say about this, and when we come back, we will continue. See the video. Said that people bought yes. votes. You too, you cannot say that you, did, you people did not buy votes in your ward. Or was it free? People just voted for you because they like no, your face. No, no, it doesn't happen I, like that in Nigeria. I, 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 I didn't Thirdly, buy votes in my ward. I want to, I want Before to, I, I know you, did, you will say that, you, will you tell me on TV that you bought votes in your ward? You will not say that. But the people will just look at you and say, no, oh, we no, like no, Mr. Rufai, Shrive Rufai, so your, much. Your, your crew, your Rufai, my unit was a flashpoint. Rufai, my unit was a flashpoint. Mm. And you, all your media people, 80% of the day, they were sitting with Mr. me Mr. Shwebu, let me, I've not they asked my question. Mr. Shwebu, yes. I do not expect you to confirm to me that you bought votes in your ward or you gave anybody. I do not expect you, so there's no point trying to justify it. But we know how politics runs in Nigeria. Is that when people sell their vote, they give away their voices in deciding who leads them instead of electing leaders who will be accountable. Voters might end up electing corrupt or ineffective leaders who only care about enriching themselves and their godfathers. These politicians, once elected through corrupt means, they feel little or no obligation to improve the condition of the people because they didn't win based on merit. Their focus often shifts to recouping the money they spend on the election and this further deepens corruption in governance. Despite people like Peter Obi trying to educate people about vote buying and the corruption it entails, some people have resulted in paying deaf ears to it, but still believe they can sell their vote for just 10,000 Naira for four years. This gives you about 2,500 Naira every year for the next four years. And then you wait another four years. When I said earlier that Tinumbo is not concerned about Nigerians, you guys thought I was lying. He is thinking about 2027. And that is the reason why he is performing all the magic with both INEC and the judiciaries. Despite the protests that happened and Nigerians calling for a change in the pump price of petroleum, the government still went ahead to increase the prices of petroleum product. And believe me, Nigeria is an oil producing state. We have the Dangote refineries and some people are held bent in making lives hard for Nigerians despite, we, despite us having Dangote refinery in place. Now, I don't think Nigerians understand what this means. I really want you to listen to this journalist. And when we come back, we will wrap this up. See the video. Ladies and gentlemen, today, petrol is selling across Nigeria for an average of 1,000 Naira per litre. Value-added tax is climbing to 10%. According to latest news from the government, inflation is above 30%. The Naira is exchanging at 1,650 Naira. But one thing is certain. Nigerians will adjust.
The Nigerian ability to adjust to pain is mysterious. And that's all we do. We adjust. It's our blessing and our curse. It's the thing that makes us able to thrive in any part of the world and come out on top in comparison to other people around us. But yet, it is our biggest curse. It's the curse that makes us find excuses to understand why we continue to suffer, no matter how bad it is. That curse will make you adjust and never actually demand an end to your suffering. If the great Falakuti was alive today, he would have made another suffering and smiling song. If you remember, a remix will be due in 2024. Now, those elected into office are not bothered because you are Nigerian and you will adjust. Those elected into government will continue to gather so much so they never get to feel your pain. They will stay in government and fund a life of dreams for their families, send their children to school abroad, buy houses abroad, even buy new citizenships for themselves in choice countries around the world. But you, the average Nigerian, who stood in the rain and sun to vote these people into office, you will adjust. Yes, you will. Your earnings will remain the same year after year and tenure after tenure. Your salary and your earnings will remain the same or even lose value to inflation. But the Nigerian in you will adjust. Some will even have time to be tribal bigots while they adjust. You will have time and mental space to know who is Yoruba and who is Igbo and who is Fulani and who is from Abakiliki. But the Nigerian spirit in you will never actually say enough is enough. Instead, you will adjust. There's nothing like being pushed to the wall for the average Nigerian. The average Nigerian will move from eating three meals a day to eating twice and to even eating once a day if you're fortunate enough. And the average Nigerian will convince himself that they don't even need to eat that much because, you know what I mean, you are busy. Yes, you will adjust. And a few months later, you will be pushed again to the wall with new taxes. The wall in Nigerian context is elastic, so you, know, so you never really fight back because there's always space for you to make adjustments to more suffering. There's space. In the last few weeks, there have been stories of dozens murdered or kidnapped in Sokoto and Zamfara State. Those lives are not less important than the lives in other parts of Nigeria. And we all know that our government is failing in its most important task, the security of lives and property. Businesses are failing. Nigerians can't afford food or transportation. But as our fellow Nigerians mourn their loved ones in Sokoto and Zamfara and some of all those states, and as Nigerians are introduced to new taxes, and the most expensive petrol in our history, once again, we will adjust and adjust and adjust. Because that's all we do and is what we are good at. We are the problems and the solution to our problem. Because if they give us money to vote for them and we refuse this money, these politicians, I bet you they will do the right thing. Now I have a question for the people of Edo State. Remember, Adams Oshomole and Monde Okwebelo paid you guys 10,000 Naira each to vote him in office. So, do you think that Adams Oshomole will sit down and fold his hands and allow Monde Okwebelo to work for the people of Edo State without recouping his own money? Well, I leave that answer for you. Let me know in the comment section below. Because if we continue to see ourselves as different people in Nigeria, instead of coming together to get these people, evil politicians, out of power, we will remain in abject poverty. And we will continue to mortgage the future of our children children a word they say is enough for the wise thanks for watching